Welcome to Hack 2 with Scruffy Chuck. I'm Charles, a DeFi and DLT researcher who works on network expansion at a venture studio most famous for Pangolin Dex. Uh, Pangolin Dex is native to Avalanche, Flare, and Hedera with Near coming soon. Uh, what that means is you can swap pool liquidity and farm and single sided stake with the native governance tokens for each of those networks using Pangolin. Uh, those, those governance tokens are PNG on Avalanche, PFL on Flare, Keybar on Hedera, and Nears will be announced when we launch there. Um, on Flare and Hedera specifically, single-sided staking mechanism used there is actually a novel algorithm from Pangolin called Sunshine and Rainbows that incentivizes sticky liquidity with NFTs, and it's open sourced uh, inside of the Honeycomb SDK, which I'll link to in the description of the video. This is a walkthrough for farmers and other DeFi users on the Avalanche network interested in farming on Hedera network. Uh, we'll go through the two steps of getting assets onto Hedera, and the vast majority of our time will be spent sitting and waiting for the transactions to become final. So I'll just make the most of your time to speed through those sections. Um, here's what we're going to need uh, in order to, to go through this step by step with me. So we're going to need some gas tokens, and that's ETH, AVAX, and HBAR. Um, we're going to need a token to bridge. Specifically, we're going to need USDC, uh, the circle issued um, Ethereum native, but also native to Avalanche and also Hedera stablecoin, um, USDC. We're going to need a Chromium browser. Uh, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, one of those will absolutely work. Uh, we're going to need a couple of wallets. On Hedera, we're going to need either Hashpack or Blade specifically. Make sure to seed that new wallet with a few HBAR for gas uh, if you've never been over there before. And you can do so by using a centralized exchange and sending it over that way. Or just reach out to me on Twitter or Telegram at Scruffy Chuck, uh, and I'll send you a few HBAR, no problem. Um, we're also gonna need an EVM specific wallet for using on Avalanche and Ethereum. Uh, and MetaMask is the one we're gonna, that we're actually gonna need specifically. Uh, always make sure to, uh, you know, to, to click links only that you trust when downloading these wallets. And, um, you know, using a Chromium browser, obviously we're going to be using the Google Chrome extensions um, to find those wallets, the right links to click. So just be vigilant with that. Um, we're also going to need some bridges, right? So we're going to need, um, in this instance, we're going to need specifically Tangolin Dex's bridge swap. Um, Tangolin's bridge swap component is also open sourced in our DeFi SDK called Honeycomb. Um, it's going to be linked in the description, like I had said. But what BridgeSwap does is aggregate throughout through LiFi Squid, Axelar, ThorSwap, and an expanding list of the best bridges and aggregators around. Um, an integration with Hashport is under construction, but currently we have over 20 networks uh, with liquidity available through BridgeSwap, all within one DAP with just a couple of clicks. And we're going to go through that in a moment. We're also going to need Hashport. Um, and Hashport, what, what, what that bridge provides is routes for Ethereum, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, and Polygon assets to be bridged into Circle issued Ethereum native stablecoin USDC as USDC brackets HTS, uh, which we'll see. Um, Hedera native USDC is live on Hedera, but it's only available with an account from Circle or through swapping on a DEX, um, which we'll be able to do once we get our assets there, uh, not before, obviously. Uh, the capitally efficient way to bridge to Hedera is not from Avalanche, it's from Ethereum. Um, that's specific to Hashport, uh, obviously, uh, but Hashport is the bridge to get there. So it's uh, it's the easier, easiest way to go. Uh, and um, you know, I've done a lot of research on this and it, Hashport is really the bridge to get there. If you have access to a centralized exchange and you want to port assets that way, that's also an option, but this is more for uh, DeFi users than it is people who um, are coming natively from a centralized exchange. Um, there are routes for wrapped Avalanche native assets on Hashport, but they have little or no liquidity on Hedera DEXs, rendering them obsolete. Um, and you can also technically route wrapped HBAR on Avalanche through Hashport, but I can't find a DEX with any liquidity for HBAR brackets ABA or wrapped HBAR on Avalanche. So it's also not practical. Um, we're going to have two steps. It's going to be bridge from Ethereum, excuse me, bridge from Avalanche to Ethereum using Pangolin's bridge swap and two bridge from Ethereum to Hedera using Hashport. Um, to go backwards, to go from Hedera back to Avalanche, we're going to do the steps, uh, you know, uh, back to front. Very, very simple. 
Um, obviously, we're going to incur some grass fees along the way, but uh, but yeah, we're going to walk through it right now. So let's go ahead and get started. 8316. So let's go ahead and put that in here. And see what sort of routes it pops up for us. It's going to take a moment here. Like I had said, this is going to be the most time intensive part, but once we get through, I'm going to ultimately just fast forward everything. Um, so we're going to see a few different routes. Obviously, I'm going to choose the one that's the most price competitive. It's high gas cost as a deterrent, obviously. Let's go ahead and use Li-Fi here. Transaction succeeded. So let's go to Hashport. Go ahead and connect it to this wallet. Here we are, connected to both. Navigate back. So we'll go ahead and now select our USDC from Ethereum. So you'll notice that it's going to load that first and foremost because it's the asset that I have the most of. It's also noticing my H bar, which is in my Hashpack wallet as we had seen. Again, just taking a moment to load, but we are patient because we are DeFi users. Go ahead and max this out. You'll notice that it's going to be rendering itself as it bridges over, it's going to actually be manifest as USDC HTS. So it's not USDC native to Hedera, it's the USDC native to Ethereum bridged to Hedera, as we had discussed earlier, for those of you who are, who are nuanced enough to care. Um, Pangolin Dex does default to using USDC HTS as the native stablecoin. So there it goes, slide to confirm. Let's go ahead and just confirm these transactions. Complete. Go ahead and finish that out. Go over to our wallet here and just refresh this. And here it is. Fabulous. Today we announced significant liquidity incentives coming in the next week for farmers on Hedera. So now that you have this walkthrough, you're able to bridge over from Avalanche very simplistically and take advantage of those uh, those farms that are happening that are incentivized. So, so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, post a comment. Let me know if this was or was not helpful. Um, suggest more content or walkthroughs and I'll get back to you. So feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or Telegram at Scruffy Chuck um, and check out my writing at scruffychuck.com and tune in each week to Crypto Blue Hour, which is a podcast I do with one of my closest buddies. So thanks.